Hey guys, welcome to Everything Always, Always Everything You Want. My name is Michael Roman, and today we're getting into Vision and the Wasp, seemingly absent from yesterday's Art League promo. Or were they? Grab the subscribe button, maybe hit the alert button right next to it to keep up to date with my videos. Drop a comment, leave a like. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'll get into that at the end of this video. All you have to do to qualify is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or any of my other videos, though. Okay, so yesterday an art promo leaked for Avengers 4. Um, it had the whole team, and like I said, it seemingly seemed there was no vision, and it seemingly omitted the Wasp as well. Now, while we haven't seen Ant-Man and the Wasp that's set to drop here in the next 60 days, I think it's safe to assume that if she's not included on the poster, then she's going to be dusted uh, in a snap, maybe in a post credit scene or at the end of Ant-Man and Wasp. And if you know about Infinity War, you know Vision uh, went gray when Thanos ripped the mind gem out of his head. That being said, I want to take a quick look at the two spots that I have highlighted in red here on the promo. Now, I've highlighted these two areas on the promo, and they're pretty rudimentary, I'll give you that. And we're going to go uh, and zoom in and add even further detail. Uh, this bottom left is what I presume to be vision. Um, I see what looks like right arm and shoulder ligature, uh, the makings of a back cloak and a head facing forward, flying in with the team. And in the back top, you can see what I think clearly looks like the wasp with two wings spread and her slightly facing to the right with her arm extended. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and zoom in on this so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm going to add some of the other contour lines so you don't think I'm just rocking a spot in... Uh, <laughs> in red and being like, there she is. Okay, well right here is where you can clearly see her right hand and her arm coming back up. And this is somewhere close to where her head would be. You can even see two small dots that represent where uh, perhaps those two, like that eye guard starts. Um, this is the outside of her, of her torso. You can clearly see her shoulders here. And then if you look at these wings right here and go back and look at the other wasp wings, you can clearly see the veins in the, in, in the Wasp uh, ligature, if you guys have used Photoshop before, this is the program I'm using right now. I am by no means a wizard it, but doing things like making certain aspects opaque and then picking up the, the background stuff, this would all be super easy. And Marvel has a long history of misleading people with their trailers. Okay, and here you can see even further muscle ligature in the arm and some of the straight lines on his, on his costume. Uh, you can also see like what's clearly a jawline and a mouth line and then contour into like the eyes and the brows. You can also see other clear lines that match what Vision has for a cape on that side. My point being is, is exactly what I was saying is that like, you know, they had the Hulk charging in with the team in the Infinity War and roster, but the Hulk wasn't in that part. You know, they had Iron Man and Peter Parker swinging through the streets in New York, but he wasn't. And I, I think what they're trying to do here is they have a promo. I saw a comment on one of my other videos that said, with a company this big and this much money, leaks don't occur. He may be right. Sometimes they leak things on purpose. Um, although, admittedly, Marvel's super smart. They didn't go ahead and drum up the Infinity War drama when Black Panther was getting released to let it have its day in the sun. And I think they'll do the same thing with Avengers 4 and Ant-Man and, and the Wasp. I wouldn't go into Ant-Man and the Wasp assuming you're going to see an uh, Avengers 4 trailer. Not only did they just start editing the movie, but they're not going to take away the shine for Ant-Man and the Wasp. And Avengers 4 has the ability to do that with as big as it is that people might go see Ant-Man and the Wasp and then be like, oh my God, did you see the trailer for Infin uh, Avengers 4? And that become the center point of conversation. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Am I ludicrous? Am I right? Did they just take these two characters out because we don't know their endings and they didn't want to spoil that they're coming back in the poster? Let me know what you think. Before I let you go, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away this Trendsetters uh, limited edition, limited number commemorative plaque for the Iron Man trilogy. Each plaque contains six original licensed film cells, actual cells of film from the movies. It's super awesome. Like I said, there's limited editions. There's only 2,500 of them on the planet. We're giving away one at the 5,000 and one at the 10,000 mark. All you have to be is a subscriber and leave a comment on this and or any of my other videos. I will randomly choose a video and then a comment on that video to give those away at the respective marks. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you're already a subscriber, I can't thank you enough. And if you're not, grab that subscribe button and stick around because I'm going to be bringing you some more videos today, tomorrow, and honestly, probably every day after that. Thank you.